Oh man, that wasn't good. What's up guys, Eric, I'm out here with the Arma EXB Creighton again. I um, haven't had a lot of time to bash here lately, so um, you know, due to you know, due to family time, so I'm really hoping I can give this baby a, a quick run today. Uh, you know, while I got a chance, um, uh, definitely dodging storms. We have one like every afternoon it seems. Uh, but real quick, I did go, I did put a M2C chassis on here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the with the EXB chassis. They are definitely stronger than an RTR. Uh, but being three millimeter, you know, for just repeated you know hard bashings and, and hard sends, you just cannot go wrong with the uh, M2C Goliath four millimeter. I mean, it just definitely holds the truck together. Uh, you know, it just gives you that much more insurance. Um, but real quick too, when you guys get your trucks in, um, you know, new out of the box, I would definitely uh, uh, check everything, all your screws um, and your diffs. Also, I would pull out uh, all three diffs and make sure they got sufficient oil. Because if they are running low on oil, you know, you basically just got metal on metal inside there and it's going to cause a lot of heat, um, you know, and cause uh, the plastic to expand and just and just cause some diff I'm failures. I'm running uh, 60,000, 200,000, and 20,000 in this one. I'm running backflip LPs on here. I'm going to give those a run. Um, I did have a uh, wheel hex uh, kind of spin out on me just doing some yard test with it. Uh, this big Hobby Star 1480 uh, a KV motor just has so much torque. I'm not sure these wheels can handle it. So if they don't, then I've got, you know, I got the copperheads I can throw back on it. But I just definitely want to give it, just try out some different tires and, and see how it goes. Um, again, I'm on 6S, uh, Hobby Star 1480 KV, 4092, 23 tooth pinion, Max 6 ESC on a Max Punch. And uh, all right, let's see what's up. Oh man, that wasn't good. Ah, landed right in all that brush. It sounded like it hit a, a, a log or something. Woo! Let's see how uh, extreme tough it is. There she is. Yeah, she uh, clipped that log right there. Arma tough. Yeah, guys, I'm not getting quite the speed with these uh, backflip LPs as the uh, copperheads, you know, naturally because of the diameter smaller. But she's uh, definitely handles good. Looks like I'm losing my body. Oh, that was close. Uh oh. Looks like we got some carnage. I think I heard a drive shaft come out too. Yeah, I got a torn arm right here, guys. It was already cracked before. 
I guess that that landing went ahead and went ahead and done it. <laughs> so these are some strong arms though. They, they've been through a lot. And that's the first time I've actually broke one. So I'll just have to throw a RPM or a RTR on it for now until I can get some more of these orders. Guys, I'm out again. I went ahead and threw one of the copper heads. Uh, this is a really rough, uh, you know, unpredictable spot. And these 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 tires just, you know, it's like riding on pillows and it's just a lot better for, for rougher terrain. I did like the uh, backflip LPs. It definitely, uh, definitely handles good. It's, uh, and flies nice, but um, I did go in and throw on a, a stock uh, or an RPM arm, get this in the sun where you maybe see it. But what I had to do, uh, because the arm, the uh, shock position is different on the on the EXB arms, they're a little bit further in, and it just wouldn't match up. And I didn't want to drill a hole way down here on the shock tower, you know, to get it to, to get it to line up right. So I just kind of took a drill bit and then drilled out a little bit, took some material out of this RPM arm so I could slide the shock in so it lines up like it, you know, pretty close. And then just drilled for the pin right here and i had to use a stock rtr pin because these exb arms are really thick and the and the steel pins are a little bit longer so i was able to get that hook up you know just just until i get another arm in i've, I've got i've got some ordered so we'll go ahead and uh, try that see how, how she holds up and uh, we'll see what's up Guys, it's so much fun playing on these big ass mounds of dirt. Very unpredictable, but a lot of fun. Uh-oh. Woo, that was close. <laughs> Got the parachute on the body. And there goes the body again. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. She took another another pounding as usual. Um, it looks like my my uh, suspension arm mod held up, you know, which is cool. I didn't want to drill another hole in this EXB uh, a tower, so I just you know again I just decided to do that, you know, temporary until I get another EXB arm in. They are super tough. Uh, this truck's been through a lot, you know, before I actually tore one, so. Pretty impressed about that, but um, it was a lot of fun. A huge shout out again to Arma Horizon Hobby and, uh, and all you guys uh, for all your support. And we'll see you again next time. RCJ1, peace out.